Okay, this demo is on how to create your own custom paper. Um, Corel Painter already comes with a bunch of uh, papers that kind of ship with it, like the, uh, the wood grain or the, uh, or the pebble board, the small dots, so on and so forth. You can basically create your own uh, texture. You're not stuck with the textures that already kind of come with it. Uh, to begin with, I'm just going to go ahead and switch to the uh, basic paper, make sure that's on. And I'm going to draw this on the canvas here, not on in a separate layer. It um, doesn't seem to work when you actually do it in layers. And I'm just going to use chalk here. And I'm just going to go ahead and draw some kind of pattern, or basically something that I want to it to create the, the pattern out of or to create the texture out of. And I'm going to switch to something that already has a little bit of texture there to begin with. I'll switch to the sponges. I'll switch to the square sponge. And then once you get the uh, the texture, the pattern that uh, you want to make the paper out of, you want to go ahead to the paper palette. Go ahead to launch palette. Once you've launched that secondary palette, go ahead and, and go to the little marquee here and select the area that you want the uh, to make the paper out of. You can go ahead and you know be precise as far as where you want that selection to be. And then go to the uh, little flyout menu here and you want to click on capture paper and then it'll ask you what you want to name your paper. It's going to name mine my paper. I can't spell to save my life. My paper. And then the crossfade is basically puts you in control of how you want this to fade into um, to it when it's repeated. Because it's basically going to take this image here, place it next to each other, place it next to each other, just keep on repeating it. And so it's up to you and how abrupt you want that shift to be. I generally just kind of leave mine right around 50 and click OK. Now you can see that. Uh, you already have your, your paper here in the paper menu, so you can kind of you know, choose whether you want to increase or decrease the contrast and whatnot. Um, but you can also go to Effects and apply Surface Texture, and you can also kind of play around with the, uh, the softness of the texture, uh, you know, the amount of the, the depth, the shine, all sorts of stuff. And then once you get it exactly how you want it, we can go ahead and click OK. And then this is the uh, texture that you've created here. And what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and open up a new document here. And I'll show you what the texture looks like. I'll make sure that we're on my paper here. And I'm going to draw with something that uh, will be really obvious. Um, like the square pastel. I'll go ahead and draw away and you can see it's, uh, it's showing up the texture that you created. And it's basically kind of repeated it. And then you have all these other little controls here in terms of you know increasing or decreasing the, uh, the, the size of it and all the other options that you have with the, uh, the existing textures in, in Painter, you can also do with your own texture. So that's it.